Today we're talking with Mr. Bro Show himself, Delvin Bro. And if you can't get inspired about his story, you might want to check your pulse. What's up, everybody? St. John Butler here, writer for the Canal Street Chronicles and creator of the Life of a Saint series. Today, we got the privilege of speaking with Delvin Bro, Mr. Bro Show himself. We got into a lot of things, but we're going to start off with the most obvious, and that is that neck and spine injury that he suffered back in high school and uh, what he remembers from that day. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it was um, in October of 2006, uh, my senior year uh, of high school, man. And, uh, you know, it's just a typical day. You know, we go and play against Jesuit High School, let um, tag on the stadium. Uh, now it's, uh, I think it's Reggie Bush Stadium or Reggie Bush Field. Um, and yeah, I was playing in Jesuit High School, and then, you know, it was down on kickoff. I was all the way on the L1, um, gunner going down to the, uh, north end zone. And, you know, I was running, you know, typical play, you know, running down there. And, you know, I drove at the guy coming off the angle about the 23 yard lines between the 23, 20, 17, something like that up in that yard line. And, um, like I dove into the guy's leg, and my face mask hit, and it, you know, jack my neck up. So when they jack my neck back, you know, that was it. That was just the collision and everything just went dark. You know, I laid on the field. I didn't move. I couldn't move. Um, and everything just went dark. And within a couple of seconds, you know, uh, I just saw a big bright white light, man. You know, it was, it was pretty crazy. Like it was undescribable, man. Um, and you know, next thing you know, you know, my coaches, you know, waking me up. I'm, opening my eyes and my coach was like, you okay? I hear my teammates like, D bro, we need you, get up, you know? And like, you know, my coach was like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. He was like, all right, well, let's get up then. You know, they helped me get up. And I walked off the field my own power. You know, I took my own helmet off. And, you know, in, in high school, you have to um, uh, take a couple of plays off or maybe like a play or two off before you get back in it. I was about to get back in the game. You know, I was jumping up and down. And that's when I felt the excruciating pain shoot up the back of my neck. And, um, you know, so I went over there and told my dad. And I told him, you know, I pointed at the back of my neck. And I told him it was bothering me. And uh, <clears throat> so he gave me some ibuprofen. And I uh, took the ibuprofen, swallowed it. And, uh, and I started coughing up. Couldn't swallow the pills. Just coughed them up. And uh, that's when my... Uh, so that's when my disc slipped in my esophagus up in the front. That's when I felt some excruciating pain in the back of my neck. And I was like, that, call the ambulance, something that's wrong. You know, and he went over there, they called the ambulance, and they put me in a stretcher. And, um, yeah, once from that, I went to the hospital from there. Now, obviously, Saints fans know what things turned out to ultimately be for Delvin Bro. So, yeah, he fully recovered from that injury and went on to achieve a lot of the goals that he set for himself when he was younger. The next thing I wanted to get into with him was what it was like, what his mental was like as he headed into that first hit after the injury. Yeah, I was a little nervous. Um, but you know what? I was I was all in at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I, I can't be trying to come back and play this game at a high level and expect to be nervous or uh, uh, playing with scared money. You know, as they yeah. say, you're playing with scared money. I, I, I can't. So I had to be all in. And I knew if I go and protect myself and I knew that my doctor said, send him Super Bowl tickets when I get to the Super Bowl, that, man, I have a chance. I can do it. I can do it. I just have to protect myself and always be cautious as to how I'm going in. You know, make sure my head to the side, head up, eyes open so I know what I'm tackling, rather as just diving in there, like, recklessly, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, man, you know, I'm just there. Gotcha. You know, I was just, I just going, I was all in, man. <laughs> I was a little bit, but I was all in. <laughs> No matter how it went, you were going to find out. So, Oh, yeah, I was going to find out. No question. I, 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 so at this moment, when I'm going in to make this tackle, uh, it was the second play of the game. Mind you, now the running back is like six foot three, 230 pounds, <laughs> like a Brandon <laughs> Jacobs type running back, man. I'm yeah. like, Jesus Christ. And, you know, I'm a cornerback. I'm like, all right, I'm here. But I wasn't expecting that to be my first initial contact, you know, coming back from a, uh, a broken neck, man. Um, but you know what? I took it on, man. I, I took it on. I went in, you know, put my head to the side, made the tackle. The guy rolled over. I said, man, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I looked at my teammates. I'm like, oh, let's go. Oh, it was over for now. I just took up, man. After that, I'm, I had about three more tackles that game. Like, had a pick. So, uh, you know, I 
I had, that's all I needed right there to to know was I going was I really gonna die if I make if I make it a hit again. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it was all that was running through my mind. And he would ultimately be fine after that hit, and a lot of hits after that. So you hear you got this kid from New Orleans, played in high school in New Orleans, went to LSU, played on multiple pro teams in New Orleans, but there was still one team that had eluded him until he got that call from the New Orleans Saints. Oh, man, that was one of the best, best moments, I would say, uh, in my life, man. Um, you know, you know, I thank Sean Payton, man. I thank uh, Who That Nation. I thank, you know, the organization for, you know, everything they've done for me and my family. Um Within those three years, like within these five years, you know that I've been removed from there. Uh, two years since I've been removed from that, three years, something like that. But I still thank them, man. And like I say, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say opportunity, but man, it's <laughs> it, it it was an amazing opportunity, man, to play um, for Sean Payton and play for my hometown team and to get that call. You know, while while I was in Tampa Bay working out with Tampa Bay to get the call, get the five oh four. You know, area code pop up, man. You know what that? You know what time it is. You know, you know what time it is. So, you know, I, I'm just glad we was able to make it work out, and I was able to show the world what I can do. Everybody know that Delvin Broke can play. He was one of the best cornerbacks in 2015. The stats prove it. Sure. You know what I'm saying, yeah. I, man? And I knew I worked my butt off to get to that moment. I, 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 I don't care if I have to play another down in the NFL again. You know what? I didn't fulfill my dream, man. I didn't deal with a lot of people say that I couldn't. I didn't beat the odds. That's legendary already. I'm I'm already legendary. No <laughs> nobody has ever played with a level three cervical fusion in the NFL and, and, and was a top five cornerback in the league in two thousand fifteen. Nobody has never done that. You can look it up. Sure. I'm the first person in history, man, to ever do that. I hope it get recognized one day, but I'm not looking for the, the media, you know, the social media and attention, man. I just want others to see that whatever you put your mind to, you can do whatever you put your mind to, man. You know, for sure. And that's yeah. the, that's that's the passion. I mean, that's just what I was believing in, what I was going through, and what I'm still going through now. You know, so yeah, it's gonna be legendary, man. No doubt that Delvin Bro is legendary. Thank you for watching the episode. Hey, be sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers in 2022, so every one of you is going to be 1%. 1% of the goal. Let's get there. I appreciate all the love. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Who dat, everybody?